Okay, confession time. I am not supposed to have these. Um, most speakers memorize their talk, but I've got my little cheat sheet. It is a small thing to help me because my brain is not like yours. I have traumatic brain injury and short-term memory problems. This paper is called an accommodation. On this page, you'll find words like equity and inclusion, simple words representing a big idea. You are going to hear about me overcoming adversity, trying to define my place in this world, and my motto, never give up. My cheat sheet is more than just words on a page. It is a symbol of my journey, my struggles, but more importantly, it holds an unwavering belief in a more equitable and inclusive future. A future where everyone has the tools they need to reach their full potential. At just 10 days old, I fell gravely ill from salmonella bacterial meningitis, a rare and life-threatening infection attacking my brain. At three months old, I underwent my first brain surgery. This would just be the beginning of an ongoing journey that will forever change my life and all those around me. At three years old, my sixth brain surgery damaged my thalamus, brainstem, and optic nerve. This left me in the ICU in a coma-like state for days and temporarily mute. I was paralyzed down my left side and required eye surgery. I suffered permanent short-term memory loss and had to learn how to walk, talk, and eat again. At four years old, I, had, I started having prolonged seizures. My seizures lasted up to 90 minutes long and only stopped with life-saving medication. By age seven, I had faced my 14th brain surgery, emergency brain surgery. Two days later, instead of being in bed recovering, I was out trick-or-treating in my pink bunny ears. Today, my seizures are shorter and stop on their own, but we always have to be prepared for the next one. I know that in the future, I will need more brain surgeries, but for now, I draw on my resilience. And my motto, never give up. Despite the challenges, I've been honored by BC Children's Hospital as their champion child and received the Courage and Back Award from Coast Mental Health. I have also been chosen as the mark maker for Air Canada and celebrated at International Women's Day and twice spoken at the Canucks major fundraiser. As my parents have ta taught me, there are two things in life that you can control attitude and effort. We cannot always control what happens to us, but we are fully in control of how we respond to the challenges. Despite the challenges posed by my traumatic brain injury and fatigue from medication, I found joy and purpose in the world of childcare. My understanding employees have nicknamed me the baby whisperer. They accommodate my limitations and celebrate my resilience um, and celebrate my unique abilities, making it possible for me to flourish despite the hurdles. My work is more than just a job. It is a source of healing, connection, and empowerment. I also work to educate support workers using my own journey as a teaching tool to foster empathy, understanding, and effective strategies for supporting individuals in the workplace with diverse needs. While childcare and advocacy fill my days with purpose, it is on my Special Olympics team where I truly discover the boundless potential that lies within each of us. My parents and sister have described the 
coaching experience as transformative. They learned invaluable lessons in diversity, attitude, and effort, where everyone's strengths are celebrated. Diversity isn't just about representation. It is about embracing different perspectives and harnessing the collective strengths they all bring. Valuing diversity, fostering innovation, creativity, and resilience, I envision a world where everyone, regardless of their abilities, has the opportunity to succeed and feel valued. A world where our workplaces celebrate diversity, our schools embrace inclusion and teach resilience. Our and our communities are stronger because we value every single voice. Employers prioritize diversity and inclusion to build a dynamic workplace where everyone is valued and empowered. Communities, let's build understanding and support, celebrating diversity and creating a welcome space for all. And to each of you, I say, never underestimate the power of your individual actions. Be an ally, an advocate, and a voice for those who are often overlooked. Challenge your own biases. Never give up on creating a world where equity, diversity, and inclusion are prioritized. I encourage you to look at inclusion through my lens. I do not view a disability as inability. I may not navigate this world the same way you do, but that does not mean I don't add value. I work with children and connect with them in a way and on a level that many aren't able. That is my gift, and I believe that the world is be a better place because of my role in it. So if my story has made you see the world through a different lens, if my s it has insp inspired you to embrace the unique strengths we all have, or if it has sparked a desire to champion a more inclusive world, then this little cheat sheet was totally worth it. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.